it going you guys? Welcome back to another video in Bangkok and today I am in Chinatown. I came here and trying to do some night photography because Chinatown has a lot of lights and I figured since we're going into the night time that would be the best spot in the city to get some photography at night. And uh, right now it's still golden hour, we got about an hour of sunlight still and the light is really really good. What the plan is, I'm just going to be wandering around the streets of Chinatown looking for cool photos with activity, looking at people work. There's a lot of like um, mechanics and stores like that with cool storefronts, old school stuff that I really love. It's very gritty, I love it. We're gonna try to just walk around, see what we can get. And when it's, when the night falls, we're gonna go back to where the main road is at and then most of the light is to try to get some cool night shots. Oh, and by the way, I'm shooting everything today with my Fujifilm X-T4 and the 18 to 55 mil F2 lens on. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We're just on the main street, but uh, right now there's a lot of traffic. We couldn't really take any photos and at the same time we still have some light. So I figured let's go back into the back streets and the alleyways and that way we can uh, use that light to get some uh, daytime photography before the light come on and then we'll go back to the main road and maybe the traffic will die down by then, we'll see. But we're having a lot of fun. Like, Right now, I feel Chinatown has a lot of activity. I know I keep saying that about Bangkok, but yeah, Chinatown is definitely a happening little neighborhood of, uh, of the city. Alright, we are now entering the blue hour. I think the sun has set and then the light is kind of changing. I love the vibes we got in Chinatown. I hope you guys enjoyed the photos. So much activity, so many people cooking on the street in little stalls and like people like passing by and the scooters. Have you noticed how many scooters there is here in Bangkok? I mean, this is, this is pretty, pretty impressive how many people are actually riding a scooter around and it's freaking dangerous and no one wears a helmet but hey when in Bangkok right and so we walked down all the side streets of the main road and now that the sun has set I'm, I'm uh, assuming the lights are gonna be coming on very soon so we're gonna head back towards the main road and I also heard there's like a cool night market here in Chinatown so we have to find that because I also want to get some shots in the night market Love it. Chinatown so far might be my favorite area in, in Bangkok. Obviously it is bustling with a lot of people. So maybe that's not the place where I would choose to stay here in town. However, definitely when you visit Bangkok, you have to stop here and visit Chinatown because it's amazing. <laughs>
everywhere. I'm wondering, like, do they survive or is there too, too much competition for everyone? I mean, there's more food stalls than there is people in this city. So I'm genuinely asking myself the question. It is a sensory overload. I just realized that I didn't mention something you guys cannot feel. It's the smell. You can't smell anything, but here there's so much going on with the fish cooking, the meat cooking. I don't know, sometimes you even have like, in the back alleys, you have like some sort of a sewer smell as well. It is very interesting, like sensory overload is what we keep using, the word we keep using uh, with Sam, because there's so much that we don't know where to look, where to stop, what to do with ourselves. All right, guys, this was the main street with the lights on. Then we went into the market area that you saw earlier. That's all that I wanted to see here in Chinatown, and I loved it. I got so many shots of people. I know I might have focused my photography a little too much on people and like the, the street vendors, but it's the vibes you get here, and I, I loved it, I gotta say. Right now, we're headed to eat at a vegan restaurant right here in Chinatown, and then we'll see what we do afterwards. Maybe we'll call it a night and go home, or maybe we'll stay out a little longer but we have to see how we feel after we eat. But yeah, first, let's get some food. I just got my food and you're already done with yours. Yep, it always comes out later. It's so good. So I've got this, I think this is supposed to be like some sort of a pork cutlet, deep fried. Of course it's vegan, so it's not pork. Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. Is mine better? Yeah. Mine's better? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It's all good though. Alright guys, we are full, so we are decided to go back to the hotel. I'm exhausted. It's probably just 8 p.m., but we're still jet lagged. We've only been here for a couple of days. So yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, tomorrow we're taking the plane to Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand. So I'm very excited for Chiang Mai and to see a different aspect of Thailand. And uh, I'll take you guys along. I'll probably shoot a couple of videos there as well. So I'll see you guys next week for another one. Cheers. <laughs>